What's up guys, more Farmer here, back with another Farming Simulator 17. We are back on the American Outback. We are currently running a midnight shift, or night shift harvesting. We're trying to get some corn done. And I'm going to till up the field number 7. I'm going to buy field number 8 till that as well. Just as we're getting close, helper N, which is this combine here, is now at... 80% so we're going to get filled up with him and I want to try to help give everybody a little less suspicion on what's going on yesterday the squad did mention that he will be getting a second channel started he has brought it to my attention he wants to have me help them with the second channel as well so most of my content will be coming from my channel and his channel so pretty much you'll be seeing the squad's view of stuff I'm trying to get him to get West Virginia map which is my home map so I'll be talking with him here in a little bit later on try to see if we can do that so today we are in the 8400 two-wheel drive. Actually, I believe this is the 8410. So this guy's fin finally finished filling that card up. So we'll hop out here. Yes, this is the 8410 two-wheel drive. Like I said, I love this tractor. Jonathan did a good job with it. So again, a huge shout out to Jonathan for doing that. And we also we got solids to haul over to the cow pen. And I do apologize for the small map that we are not doing the. I've already got the cows on that map. I'm trying to do a few things. Try to get fertilization done and everything. So I sped up time. Wow, the one's really whipping. So guys, that's one of my disadvantages of where I'm at right now. Is the fact that I got so much stuff going on here at home where I'm at. Especially when I'm recording this. So you'll probably hear the wind in the background. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to unload this on over to the cows here. So I want tip side on the right, unload. So as we start unloading this, won't take as much as what we normally take, but when we buy the cows, we're going to have a lot of cows. So let me jump over here. It's not what I want, not what I want, not what I want, not what I want, not what I want. Oop. Let's move uh, this trailer on out of the way. So I'm going to keep everything over here in this and field six and three all soybeans for the reason of these are pretty much going to remain soybean fields. I got so much equipment scattered around the map, it's not even funny. It is what it is. Oops. So we got the Wolf's Combine in. That's one thing I wanted to say. So we got pretty much everything in, plus a few new mods. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to buy Fuel 8.
So now we have fuel eight here. And let's see what kind of state it is in. It was last planted in potatoes. It has been harvested, so there's a lot of purple here. We're going to replant all of this in corn. This field here is going to be, when I buy field two, is going to be soybeans. So this will be our main corn field. This will be our soybeans area. Field one and 20 is going to be wheat. And we also have the option for sugarcane, which I don't know if we're going to do that or not. So let's check the map here. Sugarcane is in the game, but it's not that much. So here I'll show you guys. Right here is the sugarcane, 295 per thousand, 445. See, corn's up right now. That's what we're doing. So this would be the place we'll be going to. Where is that at? So that's right here, which is not a very far travel from where I'm at. Right there. What about soybeans? Soybeans. The best price is tombstone grains, which is all the way over here, which I'm okay with. And then we got our wheat and barley. So what's solids running at? Solids is running at the bio plant, 741 liters. Grass is running at the barn, 131 per liter. And hay is running at a little over almost $140 per 100 liter so with that with everything like that being said let's jump on over again I'm just trying to get set up I haven't recorded as you all can probably see in the back there I do got solids ready to go I just gotta compact it with just driving over it with the sugarcane trailers I compacted it pretty good, but you get a lot, of, a lot more solids moved at a time. As I tab on over here, we'll jump. We'll go ahead and we'll chase this combine real quick. Turn my work lights on. Just the camera for you guys, so you all can see. We'll go in a little bit of a first-person view. And as early as I'm recording this, it's hard to see the game. I do apologize for that. So, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all like. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you all think in the comments. And smash that like button, guys. If y'all like the video, smash the like button. It helps. It actually helps a lot when you do that. So you're... A lot of people won't realize how much of a help it really is. So smash that like button. The more likes we get on a video... The more it's going to be shown around other channels. To try and bring some more subscribers. I do got some huge news before I leave. I do got a tractor coming out. But as soon as we hit 500 subscribers. I will be releasing it. So it will. I'm going to be having it on my channel. I'll probably be putting it on the squad's channel for you guys to see as well. So again guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Again, like I said, smash that like button. Let me know what you all think in the comments. New to the channel, subscribe. Hit the little notification bell. Let me know when you want to see. Let me know what you all think and what you all want to see next. And I'll see you all in the next Farming Simulator video. Y'all have a good evening.